Hey Mikhail, just a quick video to show you where we are in our commission. So we are still at the same point from the previous um, snapshot that I sent you. But you know the pencils will be done this week, and I wanted to show just in a quick video how I do things. I think that this might be of interest for you. So what I showed you was this. I divide the. This is very light, and you can hardly see it, but it will make sense, particularly when you have the. Um, scan pencils so i divide the um, sheet of the, the board you know in halves like this and this and uh, in thirds you can see it here 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 and here this is so i can put everything in the same place as it as it you saw in layout to make sure the composition remains the same and it's easier for me to to keep things in place um, with this division and one of the first things that I do is I try to block very roughly. You can see, you, maybe you can see some lines over here, just where the bodies will be. And then I will add some detail, like you see the proportions, the correct proportions of head, shoulders, uh, arms, clothing, you know, everything. After I got them in place and after I got some sense of space as well around them. And you can see here a few details only, but they are enough for me for now. Like this door over here. It has a different vanishing point from the rest of the place because of the stairs. The real vanishing point is here. I was, uh, it's precisely in the middle, in the line that goes through the middle of the page. A coincidence in this case. And um, you have, for example, this door over here that is just through the archway. Again, just to get a scale of the wall. And now I know, for example, if this door is this tall, then the rest of the wall, I'm looking at the layout here at my right in computer should be something like this and with these lines that I drew you know coming from the vanishing point now I can freehand draw some of the stuff and then go back to the ruler and really you know add the rest of the grid that I will need for example for this wall to draw the bricks in the ground you can see some here and um, so from this point onwards what I do now because this piece really is, is really centered around the characters excuse me my babies are crying but it's no problem I don't know if you can hear them or not. What I do right now is that once I have the characters in place like this, with the detail of the scaling of the head, the, 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 the body parts, all of that, I will go and draw the characters in detail right now, even before anything else is drawn, from, is drawn on the background, because it's really uh, complementary, the background, you know, and I prefer to do this, because once I get the details here, I can make sure that whatever is behind them will not be you know, concurring or competing with the composition. Like there will be columns here. And now that we have this character, I know that the column should be around here, for example. You know, stay away from this one. Then another column probably here. You know, again, stay away from this character. Have room to breathe around them. I think it's an important thing. And I prefer to go on and detail. And I will right now, let me just zoom. You can see one character. And I will show you just this face. How I proceed from here, you can see probably that there's a, a head here that I didn't like the position, so I adjusted it to this space. And now what I do is just I go in and I I can come in with all the details in the pencils. I'm not very worried about line weight or anything like that. That doesn't matter to me because I will be inking it, so I don't le need to leave those indications. And I will draw all the details, like the eyes. Well, we should go here. You know the nose. It's pretty loose. Again, I'm inking, so I'm not worried about what what might be wrong, might be wrong or not, or what kind of details I need. And I will correct many things while inking. You know, like I got the shape of the head, shape of the head, which should be like this. You know, strong jaw on this character. The ears lower because he's looking from above to us. We can adjust the eyes a little bit. You know, the mouth. You know, just flesh out all of these details. Here, the... All the muscles in the face, in the neck. Large neck, strong character. You know? So, once I'm happy with something like this, for example, which I am happy with this face. 
we have a good face over here and you can draw just the, the hair that you see in the back here correct a little bit here make sure sometimes I will go in and give a bit more of detail just to make sure that it's working because too if it's too loose while I'm inking then I might discover that it's, it was not really working you know I was seeing something that was not really there in the stage of the pencils so and this is how I proceed now from now on and I will do everything and pencil out the entire figure entire piece I'm sorry figures one by one and then we'll go to the background okay I'll send you one video of me inking then just so you see how it goes there okay bye bye Miko